It should have been so obvious that Kisaki's been the head of Valhalla. So this isn't the most like surprising revelation. A few moments later. He's not? What? <laughs> Wait. Wait, I'm so confused. What? Wait. Huh? Yo, what's going on guys? So this is going to be Tokyo Revengers episode 17. Last episode, we finally got to see the incident that causes Tomon to pretty much go under. Seeing Kazutora essentially kill uh, Mikey's brother, seeing how Baji was involved in all of that, is definitely something that will make or break Tomon as we know it. This flashback has been pretty good, I would say. Uh, getting to see a lot of our characters in their young age and all the mistakes they made, how they were versus how they are now, it really uh, gives you perspective and context as to why they changed and why a lot of their friendships uh, fell out. So yeah, now we just have to see Mikey's reaction to all that's going on and uh, it can't be good. So let's get into it. Okay, so that was like a full-on three-minute recap. That's crazy. And we still have the opening to go, so that's about like five minutes almost that we're cutting off this episode. You take off the ending song too, that's almost like six, six and a half minutes. It's wild. That's some One Piece shit right there. Wow. There's no shot that Baji, like after seeing his tears last episode, there's no shot that he is still on the side of Kazutora and Valhalla. A lot of you got a couple of you guys in the comments also agreed with me. And I think I think a lot of people also think that Baji's being a double agent. So that would be I think that would be a good direction. But we'll see. Wow, it's official. That's crazy. Oh, isn't that the vice captain uh who got completely destroyed by Baji? How do you not recognize him, bro? You literally watched him get beat up. Matsuno, okay. He didn't join Valhalla to crush Toma. I knew it, dude. Here it comes. It's coming. It's Kisaki? Let's go, dude. Let's go. I freaking knew it. It just seemed very unnatural the way Baji just flipped. Even with the history and everything, you like you would assume that whatever happened would make him be on Mikey's side, not against him. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy that they're at that point and it's been revealed. Yeah, so it is confirmed. The bike that he drives is his brother's. If that bike gets destroyed in their battle with Valhalla, I think Mikey's just gonna go absolutely like berserk. Ah, uh, so he doesn't know. Okay, so Mikey doesn't actually know that Baji's playing a double agent. This whole time I thought Mikey might have been in on it, but clearly not. To be completely honest with you guys, I didn't think this guy, the vice captain who got completely obliterated last episode, would have any sort of prominent role in this conflict and plot, but hey, I'm here for it. He looks pretty cool, and uh, I like his demeanor, so. Dude, I feel like... Takemichi might have to make a decision that he might have to kill Kisaki. If that happens, that might break him. The head of Toman? Woo! Let him know. Oh shit, we got a new friend. New friend unlocked, boys. Oh yeah, dude. What a throwback. <laughs> From like several episodes ago. What does he know? Hey man. An enemy of your enemy is a friend. So. Who's that? Is that Kisaki? Hey yo! He looks different. He's got the black hair. He's, he looks like a salary man. Whoa, dude! Kisaki. So he was a freak back then too. Nah, Kisaki's mad dangerous, bro. It's not even that he's like strong or anything. It's just he's just, he's very smart, cunning, and uh, clearly very manipulative. Whoa! Hey. Hey man, the first step to uh, fixing problems is acknowledging it, and he uh, acknowledged that he was just a grunt, so good for you, Osanai. Even though you 
fucked with Pachin. Oh shit. Yo. Kisaki's basically Aizen, bro. This is some Aizen level intellect right here. Damn. So the guy that created the problem tried to solve the problem. Oh, I hate that. That's the worst. Because that happens so much in real life, too. Like, people create problems and then they try to act like they're the ones that can solve them. And that's how they just, like, control people. So Kasaki's literally just using people. He used Osanai. He's using Hanma now. And he used uh, Kiyomasa before too. It should have been so obvious that Kasaki's been the head of Valhalla. Like, come on. I mean, we've known this, bro, for a while. We've known this since, like... I feel like a lot of people have known this since uh, Hanma first uttered the word Valhalla at the end of that last fight. So this isn't the most like surprising revelation, but I'm glad our characters at least know it now. All right, we're back in the present. He's not? What? <laughs> Wait. Wait, I'm so confused. What? Wait, okay, they just threw a big curveball. Toman was taken over by. Oh, what the hell? We got some vertical integration going on over here. So Mikey just became. Oh my god. Oh, so that fight that's about to happen, Toman loses. God damn it, dude. Another wrinkle in time. Oh shit. Yo. That's what happens? Yo, he's destroying Baji and Kazutora. Oh my god. He killed him. Oh. Oh, he got his revenge for his brother after all. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so that was episode 17 of Tokyo Avengers. And bro, I, I have to give credit where credit is due. This whole time... A lot of us have thought that Kisaki is the head of Valhalla and all evidence was leading to that point but this episode completely turned that on its head and essentially gave us the information that Mikey is actually the head of Valhalla which just interesting. So if I'm getting this right what happens is the fight that's about to happen Toman loses in a sense they win essentially but they do lose because Mikey ends up killing Kazutora which I mean is poetic justice at its finest so you know i'm not too mad at that but mikey does end up killing kazutora and i guess that's what breaks apart tomon and kisaki's obviously as always just watching from the shadows and i assume he somehow gets mikey free from jail because i'm assuming mikey does go to jail for that uh so i'm assuming there's a lot of assumptions here but i'm assuming that kisaki gets mikey out of jail and makes him the head of this newer organization this toman valhalla hybrid as a sort of puppet leader so that is honestly one of the worst outcomes that can happen in this timeline so hopefully it doesn't come to that but we do actually get introduced to the vice captain of the first division matsuno and he's the one that got completely battered and bruised and destroyed by baji uh last episode and he actually reveals to us an idea that a lot of people had also been thinking all along that Baji is actually acting as a double agent and he's not on the side of Valhalla or Kazutora. His actual goal is to take down and expose Kisaki, which, you know, it, that was pretty obvious. So I'm glad at least that wasn't turned on its head. But judging from what happens, it seemed like Baji gets st stomped on as well and uh, Mikey just goes berserk. So. I wonder if his plan ever even comes to fruition, although I doubt it if Kisaki remains as the head, uh, the shadow uh, leader of Valhalla. It just seems like every time Takamichi gets closer and closer to solving this case, there seems to be another wrinkle in time. There seems to be another anomaly that is thrown his way for him to fix. And this whole time Takamichi has been choosing to be non-violent personally. And I feel like there's gonna come a point where he will have to choose to be violent physically. And to be honest, I'm not sure if he's ready for that. I think dude really just needs to hit the weights for a little bit because he's pretty scrawny. He hasn't really done anything 
uh, to show his physical prowess. And in these times that they're in with the gangs, then I think it's a pretty important thing. So Takamichi, get your weight up. Tokyo Avengers just loved throwing curveballs. Uh, these curveballs are really making me remember like Dorarara. Uh, I've said it in the beginning of watching this show that this uh, anime reminds me a lot of Science Gate and Dorarara. But this episode especially with all the different politics going on between the different gangs, it just really makes me reminisce about watching Dorarara late Saturday nights on Adult Swim. So yeah, that's a, that's a throwback and a half. But yeah, that's going to do for this one. If you guys enjoyed this video and were shocked by the revelations of this episode, drop me a like. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Do you think Takamichi is going to be able to change the course of history or are we going to get another anomaly thrown our way? Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description below. And uh, don't forget to hit that sub button and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.